Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and good morning. I just got done with breakfast and then I came into my beauty room to sit down and get ready for the day. And it is a busy one, we have a lot going on and I'm planning to take you with me for all of the adventures. So first up, I'm heading to a workout class downtown with some of my friends and then we're going to head to lunch afterwards and then later on, our favorite handyman is coming by the house. He's gonna help us clear out debris from the gutters, clean off the roof a little bit and then start some work in two of the downstairs bedrooms which we will get into later on. I have to clear out this entire space and it is still a disaster. Not much has changed since I last showed it to you. So we have a lot of cleaning and organizing to do. And then later on, I might run some errands. I'm trying to show you this top. So for the workout event, they sent over these really cute outfits. So we're all going to match. This spandex is so soft and buttery. I really love the material and it's a beautiful color. So I really like the set except my entire chest is exposed, so I definitely need sunscreen. Yesterday, I had my very first clear and brilliant laser treatment. I know it's something that I had mentioned probably several months ago because originally it was scheduled for early April, and then I kept pushing it back, kept pushing it back. Things got a little bit hectic with the house stuff. I finally had the laser treatment yesterday, so it's been probably close to a full 24 hours, no more redness. I mean, when you look closely, you can definitely see the area that was treated, but the redness went down significantly in 24 hours. And then when I touch it, it does feel a little bit sandpapery, but not nearly as bad as I expected it to be. When I first got to the office, I numbed for about 30 minutes and then she did three passes over my chest and a little bit on the top of the shoulders on a medium setting because she said she could tell right away that my skin was on the more sensitive side. It didn't really hurt at all. I would say pain level would be maybe one out of 10, zero out of 10. It really wasn't bad the first pass. But then the second pass, I started to feel the tingle and then it it got a little spicy by the third pass, so she really just concentrated that third pass in the area where I had the most damage. And the reason I wanted to get the treatment done is because I have a lot of uneven skin tone, a lot of uneven texture on my chest from years and years of sunburn, sun damage. Growing up in Florida, getting sunburns consistently, basically year round. But right now, the plan is to follow through with three clear and brilliant lasers and then look back on the before and afters, make sure that I am seeing progress. Something my dermatologist mentioned and it's a sentiment that I've heard from anybody and everybody I know who works in skincare is that there is no point investing in good skincare, having a 10 step skincare routine, doing Botox, doing treatments, if you're not going to use sunscreen every single day. Sunscreen is the number one anti-aging ingredient out there. It is so important to use sunscreen daily. I definitely want to protect this entire area today and I have been using the sunscreen from Isden. I first learned about this brand from Dr. Dre here on YouTube and I'm going to use both of these today. They're both mineral zinc oxide sunscreens with SPF 50 and not only do they help prevent sun damage but they contain DNA repair enzymes to help repair the sun damage you might already have. So it's really skincare and sun protection all in one product. I love the texture. I love that it doesn't have a gross smell. It's not sticky or tacky or uncomfortable to wear. I've partnered with Isdan today to share my favorite products and how they apply on the skin. And I'm incredibly grateful to work with such a reputable research-based skincare brand. So these are the two I'm going to apply to my face and body today. This is the Airy Fatana Ageless Ultralight Emulsion and the Airy Fatana Actinica Ultralight Emulsion. I scooted in a little bit so you can see. So the reason I'm gonna use both is because they're not quite the same. So first I'm going in with the Airy Fatana Ageless. You have to give it a really nice shape. It says designed for photo aging defense, 100% mineral sunscreen, water resistant for 40 minutes. What I love is the texture. So of course there is a specific way to apply your sunscreen. You want to do two finger lengths. And what you'll notice is that this sunscreen has a tint to it. No less than this amount. This is the minimum. And I might even apply a little bit more I love that the tint is nice and sheer. So you can even use this on no makeup days and it doesn't add glow, shimmer, or sheen to the skin. It dries pretty natural. You're getting your sun protection, plus it's going to help even out your skin tone. And it feels amazing. It's so thin and lightweight, not oily, not greasy, no crazy smell. I'm gonna lean in so you can really see my skin. It's not streaky, it's not cakey or heavy on the skin whatsoever. 
blends right in. You can barely see it sitting on top of the skin. Next, for the neck and chest, I'm going in with the Airy Fatana Actinica. Same thing, you have to give it a really nice shake. And because my chest is extra sensitive today, I'm going to do the same technique. It's a nice rule of thumb. I think you can always apply a little bit more if you feel like that's not enough. You just want to make sure that you are covered. And then with whatever product I have left, I'm going to apply to the back of my hands. This is one of those spots that we often forget, but you have to protect not just the face, neck, and chest, but hands as well. Along with the topical sunscreens, they also offer the Isden Photo Sun Isden Soft Gel Capsules Dietary Supplement, and they have the Mineral Brush on the Go Facial Powder with SPF 50. This is great for touch-ups. And I'm gonna throw this in my bag and take this with me today. Summer is here, so if you are interested in trying any of these sun protection products, use the code ARINSUMMER for a 20% off discount and a free sample of the Age Contour Cream. I will make sure all of the links and information are down below in the description box. event lunch was incredible. It was so great to get out of the house and catch up with some old friends that I really only see at events. The workout was insane. It's called Solid Core and I was excited to try it out because they're opening a new studio really close to us at the end of the summer. I'm less excited now that I've tried the class because I'm not sure it's something I could truly commit to. It was so intense. I thought it was going to be Pilates, but it's more strength training and it's intensive strength training. So I already feel like my muscles are going to be so sore tomorrow. Next on the docket for this afternoon, our handyman is on his way over. He has become our savior. I first found him on TaskRabbit. I hired him to come replace the kitchen sink disposal because it stopped working. And I think he's going to be helping us with projects for a very long time, the foreseeable future, because it turns out we have a few more problems than we expected. Over the weekend, we had a few bad thunderstorms, nothing really out of the ordinary for Florida. So we were just watching TV. I needed to use the restroom at the front of the house and I just happened to poke my head into one of the bedrooms. This is a room that we haven't really utilized a lot. There's not a lot of furniture in here because we just aren't using it yet. This is going to be a spare bedroom. It was completely by accident. I meant to open the bathroom door, not the bedroom, and I am so happy I did because I noticed there was water coming in from the wall. We had a leak. I immediately called my husband over. I was panicking. We ended up going through so many towels, and I would say for a solid at least two and a half to three hours, there was water gushing in through the walls. Week one. No, I think we're on week two. It's just stopping now. I could hear it. The drain. You can hear it's like coming down even more. Jazzy, please don't eat that. Our walls have texture to them, so it's not something you would notice right away. But now when I look in these particular areas, I can tell that this has been a problem for a long time because you just know looking at this drywall that it has had water damage in the past. This is not something that happened once. There was a full blown meltdown before our handyman arrived, but luckily I had somebody in my phone who I could call because I sent a text and he immediately said, okay, I'm on my way. He got to the house, assessed the problem and immediately started fixing it, cleaning out all of the debris from the gutters and helping us get rid of this disgusting disgusting drywall. As frustrating as the situation is, we are now fixing the problem. We know exactly what we need to do. We have the right people in place to help us and we are taking care of everything. And it is truly amazing what you can accomplish in a day. Damage. 
Good morning. This is the current state of the union. It's even messier than it was on moving day. Wasn't originally planning to paint today, but when your contractor shows up with a painter, you drop everything and move all of the furniture out of the way. So that is currently my project. You see, we have a lot of trash, a lot of scraps. And yeah, we are going to finish this painting project once and for all, or at least the downstairs area. And then this is the update on the blue bedroom. Getting rid of this wall, even though it didn't have the water damage, it was just the easiest way to ensure that this wall is completely flat and flush. So all of this needed to be replaced as well. So this is all going to be fixed. And then I'm told this room is going to be finished by today. We will see what happens because I don't know about you, but this doesn't look like it's going to be finished and painted today, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. I'm just ready for my house to not be a construction zone. It's going to look worse before it looks better. Along with the construction inside the house and the painting, we're also having the roof properly cleaned. So all of the Spanish tiles are going to be looking brand new. A little patio area is going to be cleaned. The front is going to be cleaned. We're basically going to have a brand new house. We have been working nonstop all day today since about 8.30, 9 o'clock, and it is 10 minutes to 8, so nearly a 12-hour day. The crew just left, well, the main crew just left, and it feels so nice to have a little peace and quiet, but I'm just looking around at this transformation, and it looks incredible. I love the paint color. We did Chantilly Lace. It's bright. It's white and I think when we do have some sunlight, it's going to reflect really pretty because we will get more warmth in this area So it won't look quite so cool on a normal sunny Florida day. Today is one of the crappiest days We've had in a really long time. Thankfully, we had the gutters cleaned Everything looks so beautiful. The patio was cleaned the driveway the walkway up to the house is clean our upstairs patio is clean. The exterior of the house, all of the gutters were cleaned. So now we can take a deep breath. We can rest easy, assured that we won't run into the same leak issue that we had earlier, which is definitely a relief. The curtains and the old curtain rods came down. This already feels like a new space. We're gonna put the TV on the wall and the white paint just looks so fresh and it really pops against our terracotta tile. I'm starting to call this room the nap room because it gets so warm and cozy in here with all of the natural light that I just instantly take a nap anytime I'm in here. The stairwell and the stairs still need to be painted, but that is going to be not a big project, but it's a little bit more complicated. And right now, since everybody left, I am going to clean. So poor little Jazzy doesn't have to be in Jazzy jail anymore and I can let her downstairs so she can sniff around. She's been so good, so patient with all of the noise and everybody coming in and out of the door. I know it's driving her crazy. So I'm going to do my best to clean up, get rid of all of the debris on the floor. And then I'm gonna take Jazzy on a long walk because she deserves it. officially emptied my little mug of paint. I did as much as I could. It's 10 o'clock, so I am calling it quits. Good morning, everybody. We are back in the beauty room where it all started. As much as I wish I could tell you that we wrapped up all of the major projects, we have not. However, we did survive this week, and at this point, I will take it. That is good enough for me. And do you hear that sound? Do you hear that? Silence. Silence is golden. We have one day without contractors and the peace and quiet is so good for my brain. I'm going in with my Colleen Rothschild black tourmaline face primer because I need as much strength and good vibes as I can possibly get. But yesterday was incredibly productive. We started so early and I was surprised when our incredible contractor Ahmed showed up with a painter 
because we had talked about painting, but the last I had heard from him, he was only planning on working on the bedroom. So I was not mentally prepared, but I also wasn't physically prepared, like nothing in the house was ready. So I almost had a panic attack. I had to quickly move everything from against the walls and I would have liked to wipe down every baseboard, wipe down the walls, do some dusting, get rid of any little cobwebs everywhere. Did not have time for any of that. No prep was involved. So I was just scrambling because we had so many people here all at one time. It did feel like a bit of a circus. At one point I had stepped into the garage just to take a phone call. I had nowhere to go that I could have a little peace and quiet. So I went into the garage and I accidentally locked myself in the garage. And I texted my husband who was working from home upstairs, help, I locked myself in the garage. And I knew he would know what I was talking about because one of the first days we came to the house, we accidentally locked ourselves in the garage and I ended up having to crawl out of the window, come around the front to unlock the door. So we have been in this scenario before, but I guess he was on a work call. He did not text me back, he didn't answer. So once again, I found myself crawling out of the window and I had the contractor on the phone calling me, Aaron, are you home? So-and-so needs cash, blah, blah, blah. And I'm craw crawling out the window like, yes, I'll be right there. Let me run around the front and walk in the front door with you. Later on, we were talking about it and my husband made the joke that he did actually read my message and he just decided to leave me in the garage. He said he was just kidding, but I'm pretty sure there is some truth to that joke. And he just decided to take his time to respond. He doesn't know it yet, but there will be payback. Despite the chaos, I did allow myself to take a very short break so that I could have lunch with my former assistant, Amelia, who was a graduate student at UM and she majored in, what was it? I think she got her master's in marine biology. She is brilliant, beautiful, so helpful, smart, amazing, just the best person. I'm so glad I found her. Every once in a while, she would just help me if I had a specific task. We've done so many photo shoots together. And now it's time for her to enter the real world and she's leaving Miami, I'm so sad. But I was really thankful that we were able to get together one last time and have lunch together. Now more than ever, I feel like I need her assistance just so she can listen to me vent. But she's honestly so sweet and was such a great friend. If anybody works in marine biology and you are looking to hire somebody incredible, she is absolutely the best candidate for the position. I don't need to know anything about the job description. She is your girl. It was so nice to get out of the house for a little bit because it was truly stressful and I thought I was gonna have a heart attack watching the painter get started. Because when I have painted rooms in the past, I will line the entire floor with the painter's tape. I want everything covered. We just got the floors refurbished and he was using the same little sheet of paper and kind of moving it to each spot with him one little piece of tape instead of taping everything. So my blood pressure was going through the roof and I just had to walk away. And of course I came back and it was fine. I am a bit of a control freak and a perfectionist. And of course when it's your own home, you know that nobody is going to love and take care of your home like you are going to take care of it. That has been incredibly tough. And of course, I haven't been able to really get any work done because you have so many people in and out of your house and they have questions and they need more trash bags and where can we wash our hands and we need water for buckets, all sorts of things going on. So you kind of have to be air traffic controller while people, while you have so many people in your house. I know it might sound crazy, but I truly feel really lucky. I feel like we've been so fortunate to have amazing people helping us because it is not easy to find good people, especially if you're kind of new to the home ownership game. You don't have a list of go-to contractors that you can call. I've been trying to get people through word of mouth. Everybody's been really great so far. I was really pleased with the people who cleaned our roof. They were here almost as long as the other contractors. It was really an all day job and it looked so good. We did have a short break. I ordered pizza for everybody. So we had a little pizza party. Everyone was inside. We were all gathered around the kitchen island and they were looking up at the fresh paint on the walls and they were speaking Spanish to each other but I could see them sort of motioning to certain areas on the wall and they were just talking to each other. So of course, 
I'm nosy. I'm looking at the area and I'm inspecting because I'm thinking, what are, okay, what are they saying? I can't understand. But they had mentioned that there were a few little areas where there wasn't enough paint. And these walls are really tricky because they're very textured, which I think looks great in the main house because it really goes with the style, but it is so difficult to paint. You really can't rely on just the roller. You have to go back and really look in every little nook and cranny. And I really appreciated that they pointed it out. Even though they weren't pointing it out to me, they still made it obvious that that's what they were talking about. So then I picked up a paintbrush and I went back and I was just filling in all of the gaps, making sure it was 100% perfect. After everybody left, I had saved a cup of paint. I made myself a little paint mug so that I could still go back on my own time, just go over all of the walls, take a look. So the plan for tomorrow is to finish the blue bedroom once and for all. It is almost there, but I think the last few wall seams, the little creases need to be smoothed over. The walls need to be sanded and painted. And then that room is basically brand new which will be nice. And then I'm sort of dreading the next project is going to be this room, which means I need to clear everything out of here. That's what I'm gonna work on later on tonight because we actually have an issue with the ceiling over here in the corner. We knew there was a small roof leak before we bought the house because that was something that they had to fix. That was part of the inspection process. Something we didn't notice at the time was that there's a very small creak in the ceiling from where the roof leak is. The roof is now fixed, but it just, I don't like it. I don't like to look at it and it does make me feel a little bit uncomfortable because if you look closely, you can see a small crack. There's a couple little dots where it looks like it's opening up a little bit. It's not sagging a ton, but it is sagging a little bit. We're getting new drywall. The gap will be filled in. The ceiling will be fixed. We're gonna paint the walls and then this room will be complete. I've learned to accept that these projects usually take double the amount of time you're told. So I'm just not really looking forward to not having this room. Not even just taking everything out and then putting it back in, but feeling displaced, <laughs> I'm really, really dreading it. And then we also had a small leak in our half bathroom. So part of that wall and window need to come out. That needs to be replaced. Even though it's a smaller space than this room, I think that seems like it's a bit more complicated. So that might actually take a little bit more time. So that will definitely go into next week. Hopefully by the end of next week, all of this will be done. For the rest of the day, I'm planning to just take it easy, as easy as I possibly can. I do have several projects that I need to work on, but I'm just gonna clean, I'm gonna organize. I'm going to enjoy the peace and quiet as much as humanly possible. I find myself longing for the days when finding a couple fleas on Jazzy was the hardest part of my day. The inconveniences we faced early on feel like nothing compared to what we've been through this week. I noticed a couple weeks ago that my lashes looked a lot shorter, significantly shorter, and I'm not quite sure why yet. I don't know if this is just the natural length of my lashes because I haven't used a lash growth serum in a really long time, but I feel like over the years, I've definitely gone a couple months without it, and then I usually start back up again, and then I might go a couple months. Maybe this is the longest time I've consistently gone without lash serum and this is just what my normal, normal lashes look like, but they are so short. But I don't know if it's stress that caused all of my lashes to fall out or if this is just the normal length of my lashes. I don't know what, but it does not matter what mascara I use. Like today I used this Lashy Doll, which I love. This is the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in Anywhere Caffeine that's really popular. Gonna blend that out a little bit. And finally, I'm going in with this Makeup by Mario Bronze Glow Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I love this. Mmm, and it smells really good. Oh, look how pretty. This is one of my favorite lip products. It came in that summer favorite Sephora bag. And we are getting closer and closer to that home tour. Painting is almost completely done. So we do have that to look forward to. 
I have to say it feels really good to just sit down, do my makeup, relax a little bit, unwind, chit chat, vent to you guys a little bit about what has been going on. So I already am feeling so much better. Now that I'm just ready for the day, even though I'm not going anywhere and I don't have anything planned, I'm just gonna be working on little projects around the house. Today is gonna be a good day. I can feel it. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked hearing all of the house updates for better or for worse. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments or questions down below. If you have any house of horror stories, drop them in the comments. Let me know that I'm not alone here. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.